Alrighty, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, what are we up to today? Well, I am going to try and make a shorter version of the uh, all used trailer hitch video that I made. So we just need to do a couple of things. Here I have a, I just have an example, I have a truck here. Uh, what I was thinking about doing is will you use the truck and then maybe what I'll do is I'll, uh, I might even just start with, a, with two parts, right? Part and a part, just like that. This one will anchor it, and this one will anchor it. Uh, this one here, actually, we don't want to anchor it, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, so, 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 in a very basic sense, in a very basic sense, let's pretend that this is a trailer. -y. So let's 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 uh, rename this to car. Or, or I say truck, let's say the truck, right? Doesn't matter, honestly doesn't matter. And then let's name this to trailer, all right? This is just a, a real basic way of doing that. So what we wanna do is we want to create a rod constraint between the two parts and that's gonna allow us, that's basically our trailer, right? So when the car moves and it drives around, the trailer follows it and all that all that good stuff. So how do we, how do we do that? How do we do that? We need to be able to do that. There's many ways of doing that. Many, many ways. I'm just going to show you uh, one way. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go in, insert object. And what I'm going to do is a, I'm going to use the proximity prompts. You can use the click detectors if you want. I know with the console players, if you use one of the triggers, it does work as a click detector. I just find with the prompts, it's a visual thing. They see it, they can use it, they can interact with it, right? Um, and then what we'll do is, uh, okay, so if you say requires line of sight, it has to be in the part that's visible on the workspace. If it's inside the part, inside a part, you're not gonna be able to see it and you'll have to say requires a line of sight false. So as you can see right now, there, I can see it here, right? But if I put that inside another object, you're not gonna be able to see it, okay? Then what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go insert object and we need just a basic script. So the first thing I do with all of my scripts is I tell it to wait, even just even just a little bit. And that gives that just gives a, a chance to do its thing. So the easiest thing we can do here is, what do we wanna do? Well, we wanna create a rod constraint. So we can actually do that without even having the rod constraint uh, uh, in the part. So. What we need is a variable, so we can say local uh, hitch equals, uh, and then we're going to say instance, okay, dot new. Let me see here. Oh, that's got to be capital. Uh, that's got to be capital here. Uh, instance, okay, dot new. And now what we need to do is we need to say, well, what are we going to create? And so in these quotations, we can say, there, look at this is everything that we can create from nothing. So we want a rod constraint, just like that. And then we want to say, well, where do we want the rod constraint? We're going to say script.parent, meaning it's going to be inside here. Inside this block is where it's going to be. So now what we need to do is we need to define the attachments, uh, the name and the attachments for it. So we could say a hitch. Um, dot name, all right, equals, yeah, you can even, even, even that right there, the code example, the code example that they made, uh, you could change the name of it, right? You could say, uh, you could just name it trailer, like whatever, right? So you're changing the name of the hit, uh, yeah, it's just changing the name of the rod constraint. And that way, if we want to delete the rod constraint, right, we can find inside the rod constraint the part named connect, and it'll just delete it. And that'll come in. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to say a uh, hitch, right? And then we need to say dot part zero, uh, part zero equals. And then now what we need to do is we need we need a couple of attachments, okay? So in this part here, we can go uh, right click, insert object, attachment. And then in here, we can go right click, insert object. Oops. Ah! And 
here, right click, insert object, attachment. All right, now this is gonna be attachment. Um, one, and then this could, we can rename this to truck, right? And we can rename, oh no, this one here is just trailer, right? And this one here, we can rename truck. And that way, when you're looking at the constraint itself, you can tell part one is truck, part two is the trailer, right? So now we need to, I don't know if it's, if it's, uh, just, a, just a second here. Let me create this there and then let me look at the rod constraint and what we actually have is we have attachment zero and attachment one so it's not yeah attachment zero so instead of part zero we need to say attachment zero all right if we were making a motor then we would need the parts but because this is a uh, yeah there we go attachment one okay all right, so uh, attachment one equals, and we'll say, uh, no, 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 no. We'll say script dot parent uh, dot truck, right? And then the other attachment is going to be game dot workspace uh, dot trailer dot trailer. Perfect, just like that. Uh, and then we want to say a uh, hitch dot length, I think it is, dot, uh, is it length? And then we can say, I think it's 0 0.02 is the small, is the shortest distance we can get with the rod constraint. And if you're, if you're still wondering, if you're still unsure of the property of the rod constraint, you can always create it again and then just look at it. And we are looking at the length. So that's right. Limits enabled. We could have limits enabled on it if we want to, any of that stuff. All right. So back to the script. Now, what we want to say is, how do we, how do we, this needs to be enclosed in a function. So when we op, let's see, local uh, button uh, equals uh, script dot parent, right? Dot the proximity prompt. So now we have to label the prompt and then we have to say button Right button uh, dot connect, but no button dot uh, trigger ended connect function, and we can even say uh, I mean whatever you can say player if you wanted to whatever right if you're defining player in here perfect and now it's saying just like that all right. So if I activate the proximity prompt, it should create a rod constraint. Hey, look at that, it did. And if I go to workspace and I look at trailer and truck, there's a single rod constraint in there and it's called connect. Now, if you remember the example that I did, uh, it made like a whole bunch of rod constraints because it was on touch and I did it when the parts touch, right? So now we can stop that, that's it. There you go, that's how you create a trailer hitch. Okay, and then if you want it, to uh, detach, for example, uh, we would say we did, would need some variables here. So we would need like uh, click equals false. Let's see, and then we could say uh, let's see, click equals false. Click equals false. Then is equal to false. Then we can say click equals true. Okay. And then down here, we could say click oops, equals false. Something like that, right? We can do something like that, but we don't want to do that. So if click equals false, then click equals true because we've activated. And then what we can say, uh, we can say uh, if click is equal to true, then do this, right? We can say else, uh, is it else or is it else if else? 
let's see. Um, if click equals false, then we can say uh, script the parent, um, and then we can say find first. We can say wait for child, and we can say connect. All right, so we're saying wait for child. Oops, F A L S E. Wait for child. Connect, and then if if um, let's see now, what do we want to do here? Wait for child. Connect. Can I just do that if uh, I don't know if I can do that. Wait for child, script up parent, wait for child, connect, if connect, then, uh, yeah, pretty much that, script dot parent dot uh, co connect, and then we can say destroy. All right, let's see, let's see if that's going to work. Let's see. I, I, it's this L. Like I'm still, I'm still uh, medium. Uh, I've been programming for a little bit, but I'm still not. You know. There we go. Oh, you know what? Um, what happened to the proximity problem? I have to go required line of sight false because I don't think we can see it anymore once this other object connects to it, right? So we do that. There we go. And now that should have deleted. No, it did not. It actually did not. It's still there. All right. So we might have to actually say else if. Uh, script to parent. No, wait for child. Connect. Um, and we can just do that even actually. Just, just destroy. That would probably work. Let's try that. Let's try that. We're developing now, right? We're developing. So there we go. And it doesn't appear as if... No, it's still there. Oh, that's because uh, click equals false. So what I have to do is I have to set it back to false. If click equals false, then. So like, for example, so we've set it to true. Um, else, uh, I should say if. Click is equal to true then. Uh, click. Click equals false. I don't know. That, that might not actually be the way to do this here. But uh, we're going to try it anyways. It might not be the way to do it, but we're going to try it. It didn't give me an error. And... No, the rod constraint is still there. So that didn't work. So I probably need to, do I need to say else. I might need to say else if. All right. Put it right in here. Else if. Oops, what's it saying here? False condition has already been checked at line 12. Click equals true, then do that. Whoops, that's right. Else, click equals false, then. Should just be able to do that. All right, let's try that. <laughs> like, it really doesn't take much. A couple of lines of code, and we got this. It's just a matter of getting rid of this. Thing. Oh man. Okay, so let's do. Yeah, it's not working. Why aren't you working? Oh, because it says click equals true then. And then what I need to do is I need to say. Um, I should probably end this function here, actually. I should end this function there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's get rid of this part here. It's not working. Let's just figure that out, okay? So we just have... Oops. What's going on here? Uh, oh, I need one more. I do. Good. 
because I have to end these. All right, if quick equals true then. So that part works. So then what we'll do is, let's do this, let's do this. Let's rename this proximity prawn to connect. Okay, and then let's uh, duplicate that. And let's rename this one to, to release. All right, and this one here is gonna be enabled false. And we will say um, script dot parent dot uh, oh you know what it's connect we have let me rename this one here uh, connect uh, throw empty. So now, this is, like I say, this is one way of doing it. Now, the way that I have my trucks built is there's a UI that comes with the truck. And so what I would do is I would just have a button on the UI, disconnect trailer, connect trailer. And then what it will do is it will it will find this object. We'll go over that next. We'll go over that next. But anyway, that's basically what it is. So we'll say script apparent um, dot um, connect prompt dot connect prompt dot enabled equals uh, false. Right, and then we'll say script dot parent dot release dot enable equals true. All right, perfect. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, and now I should be able to put that into uh, this script, right? And I have to change this. This is actually connect prompt, right? Connect prompt. Okay, uh, now I should be able to say local. Uh, let's see. Uh, release. Uh, I'll just say button. Button B equals script dot parent dot release. All right, we could say button B dot trigger ended. Right? Connect. Connect function. All right, we can do this if we can put player in there also if we want to. We just use that as a variable in the script. And then we can say script dot parent. Um, we can say wait for child connect. And then we can say uh, destroy. That hopefully should work. It did. Hey, would you look at that? There you go. So that, in a nutshell, is a very, very basic way of getting a truck to connect to a trailer. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.